Hey guys, finally here with a new tutorial uh, with DaVinci Resolve 12. A lot of people asking me to to do a tutorial about how I created my videos with different kind of cameras. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So as you can see here, uh, this is DaVinci Resolve 12. I pick it up um, three clips. One is from uh, Panasonic G7. This one here, the first one, 4K, 24 frames per second, 100 megabyte a second. Shot last weekend in Santa Monica, as you can see, it was so sunny. And uh, is an H264. 8 bit, 420. Not a great file for grading, but see how it's going. How's it gonna go? Um, this is a f one of my favorite clips that I shot in London. Uh, you can see Corinne in this frame. Uh, this is an Apple Pro S422 10 bit, uh, 42. So that means a lot of information to play with in color grading. Uh, it's one of the best file, probably the best file that I have here for color grading. But um, anyway, this is a H264. This came from iPhone 6s Plus, shot in Dublin uh, about a year ago. Um, so people asking me why I sold my Black Magic. That it was amazing for color grading, and the reason why is that because I'm working for an agency now, so we should everything on Red Epic, and I don't need a camera anymore for myself, so I sold everything and I bought a uh, $500 G7 uh, open box in Best Buy, and it's pretty, it's a pretty cool camera. It's a pretty interesting camera. It allows me to shoot uh, photos because I'm taking photos for a blog now, my wife's blog. It allows me to shoot 4K and allows me to shoot slow motion, beautiful slow motion videos. That I'm not a fan, never really used one, but again, it's a nice little camera. So um, I'm grading these files on a MacBook Pro 15 inch early 2013, so 8 gigabyte of RAM. Not a super great machine anymore, but I'm still able to grade everything. So, okay. Um, Let's start with Panasonic G7 file, just because the first clip that I have here. Um, I shot Cine like D, so everything minus five, so pretty desaturated, no contrast. Like it's not as flat as a Black Magic, as you can see, because of course this is a real log image, while this is just a desaturated Rec 709, basically. So, but well, whatever, it's gonna be okay forever tutorial so uh, let's get started um, honestly need to be honest with you guys um, for my travel videos for my personal project I don't do crazy stuff <laughs> I usually adjust a little bit of white balance a little bit of the highlights and the shadow uh, usually apply a lot and that's it because I working so much working full-time I got no time for Unfortunately, nobody pays me for to create my own video. So what I usually do, I try to be as quick as possible, and that's it. So what I usually do in this case, well, for this specific case, I found an amazing lot in input G4 Cine like D lots, and my favorite is G4 Cine like D Fuji Superior 200 FC. So. As you can see, <laughs> I hate to say that, but <laughs> it's almost like the image is almost there. It's like this is before and after. It's, it's incredible. Like the trick is the reason why I'm not doing so much in color grading is because I expose the image while I'm shooting perfectly most of the time. I have an ND filter in front of my lens. I try to expose the image like best as I can because I, if you have the right exposure, right aperture, no blur highlights, no underexposed areas in the image, you see everything is perfectly exposed. There is a little bit of highlights here, but this is because you don't have a lot of dynamic range with the Panasonic, but still the image. If you see here, it's perfectly exposed, like perfectly. So 
that's the main thing that you want if you want to achieve an amazing looking post you have to expose your image perfectly and you'll be fine so this before this is after I'm not finished yet so now I move on the first node zoom in a little bit and show the scopes what they say but honestly guys this is like pretty much so as you can see but the white balance is basically perfect yeah I can can go down a little bit with the shadows come up a little bit with the highlights a little bit meet just about here I usually put some sharpness in it so it just usually go to 048 and as you can see it's like I don't know I like it so this is this is just a lot and this is with a little bit of gritty so as you can see increase the contrast a little bit sharpness so the image is like it's already good to me we can go a little bit blue in the sky so in the highlights a little bit that's too much see that's the difference between a Panasonic file and a Blackmagic file if I move the highlights a little bit everything becomes blue Why with Blackmagic that's not gonna happen so if I move a red everything is a red so moving on yellow everything is a yellow like it's it's crazy just a little movement to this wheel here and your image is like it just completely changed so as you can see my vector scope here it's about perfect a little bit here okay and then depend if you want the image like super extreme sunset in LA you are gonna go with this or if you want it like super cold whatever you're gonna go with these kind of things this is a little bit extreme but like so because I expose the image perfectly I don't think I'm gonna do anything else this is the before this is after honestly there's not too much you can do with Panasonic Fire I'm pretty happy with this lot I love it and I think it's perfect for the contest so uh, I'm pretty happy with this color grading see <laughs> just two notes there's like a bunch of stuff that I can do in this image but Honestly, I don't see the reason why. I don't like to exaggerate things. This, this image, this frame looks good to me. I'm happy with that. That's it. We can move on, and we can jump on in London. As you can see, this was about a year ago. Exactly a year ago. Exactly one year ago, I was in London. That's funny. Anyway, as you can see. The image is super flat and this is a really log profile. It's not seeing it like it's not it's just pro res black magic field. So again I create my nodes. Um what I usually do here it really depends. I don't even remember what I did in this particular case. I probably applied a vision color last. Uh Probably an M31. I think it was. I think it was this one. So as you can see, the image is horrible now. Again, the image is exposed perfectly. So as you can see, perfect skin tones. Nothing blow. Nothing clipped. Nothing underexposed. It's just perfect. So. Again, this is a lot. This is way terrible. This is pretty terrible, actually. So, what we can do here? Again, this is a pretty good example of you can't just apply a lot, and that's it. You have to work on that. So, let's see what we can do here. She, of course, pretty blue on her face. So, I guess we should go again. I don't remember if this is the lot that I used, but I'm pretty sure it is. So. See what we can do here. It's wow. So we can go a little bit down with the shadow, a little bit down with the me too. Be up with the eyelids. Skin tone still not really good to me. Now a little bit better. 
Feel it should go down with the meat. Maybe up a little bit more. Oop! Yeah, that just got clipped. There we go. I kind of like this. It's not quite going down a little bit sharpness. 0 0.48. That's my magic number. It's a little bit, as you can see here, a little bit of clippings going on. So usually going log highlights and I go down a little bit with the highlights, not too much. And then I usually go back in the primary. That is pretty much gone over there because it was a cloudy day. And this is not raw, this is ProRes. So you can't make mistake like with row you can overexpose or underexpose you're fine but in progress you you see these little things here they're they're gone so they're not gonna go back I like quite like I remember I kept a pretty cold look for London I think we're pretty much there I'm not sure if this is the image but yeah I think we're pretty much there again I'm showing you the really basic stuff here. I'm losing a lot of details in the in the in the shadow, so I can go a little bit up with the shadow. I like personally contrasty stuff, so I don't mind losing details sometimes in the dark. I don't like clipping usually, but anyway. Oh, another main thing: increasing saturation about 65. There we go, we got some nice color here. So that's the before and after. Before and after. What I did, I just simply apply a lot on the second node and I color correct the image manually. So this was the image with just the LUT, terrible. And this is the LUT plus the basic color grading. As you can see, there's some differences. So. I'm pretty happy with that. Again, there's like tons of things we can do. I mean, we can go in the curves. We can we can change the color, the skin. We can we can really we can do basically whatever we want in DaVinci Resolve. So especially. <clears throat> you see something that is super saturated, like the lips. You can click on that. Let's see if it do get. Yeah. No, it's not really picking up anything here. Let me see if you pick it up because I want to show you. Yeah, see the lips? Basically, I pick it up the color red and I'm desaturating it. So, if you want a super, super turn on lips <laughs> we can go super extreme but you see even the bow now there the bow over here I'm increasing the saturation because I'm picking up the orange too so you can play a lot with the curves if you want so I like like red like a little bit like that um, you can do a mask you can <clears throat> you can literally do whatever you want in Da Vinci honestly um, but yeah, I'm like, again, for a basic color greeting, I'm pretty happy with that. So this is before and this is after. And then people are asking me also how they can grade footage um, shot on the iPhone. So, for example, this guy here. Okay, here what I usually do, the same reason that I'm lazy and nobody's really paying me for this. I usually apply... So I usually color correct the image. Let's see how it looks. Okay. So usually eh, this is not too bad. Usually go down a little bit. Highlights, a little bit down with shadow, contrasty, meets a little bit up. That's uh, quite good. And then what I usually do is to give a little bit of style, I apply a rec 709 a lot. So we can apply it. Don't remember what I use for. Oh, maybe use this one. 
So as you can see, if you have to be careful, you don't you don't want to play the log one because you you didn't shoot log with your iPhone. You shot you shot Rec 709. So if you apply it log, it's way too extreme. You want to apply the Rec 709 version of this nice log over here, and it's a little bit, little bit. And then you play with colors here too to achieve the look that you like. In my case was something like that and again you always sharp footage a little bit more so this was the before and after difference not too much because with iPhone you can shoot log or you can shoot anything flat so but what I really hate about iPhone is the green the green is usually terrible and the blue too but with a lot you just transforming it a little bit and it looks a little bit better a little bit yeah so before after it's not a big difference but still pretty good to me so guys um this was the, just a little tutorial but where actually i was able to pick up uh the best clips so uh again with black magic you can play way more I usually use Osiris, I love Osiris, but there's like impulse too that you can use. Uh, there's a bunch of Osiris actually. I'm just playing again uh, with the Black Magic because it's, it's quite a bit that I'm not grading footage from Black Magic and it, it's actually pretty cool. Um, and it's 1080, that's the main thing. So here apply another Osiris that. I wanted to show you a little bit the difference between the oh and another lot that I really love is the Koji lot because Koji lot allowed me to to do even more things in after applied lot so if you go to Koji Studio <coughs> usually apply where is the black magic here apply this one this guy here pretty blue too but we can easy fix that so as you can see guys it's like there's nothing too complicated remember a lot is not a preset so you have to work with that but still I think it's pretty good so yeah guys um, a lot of people asking me about this tutorial so uh, I just came back from home from work so I decided to shoot it because I to, to do that good otherwise I'm not gonna have time and I hope you find this thing helpful. Again, it's nothing complicated, so like <laughs> to me it's pretty straightforward. Uh, honestly, guys, again, the most important thing is how you shoot something. Here, I have a pretty good depth of field, thanks to my ND filter. Everything is rightly exposed perfectly, and you don't have to do too much in post because everything is already there. All the detail of your footage is there and you just need to push up the colors a little bit but look at that look at this beauty for after before after everything is there uh, thanks for watching guys uh, if you I think this is was a pretty general one so if you want I can go in the details I can show you the mask I can show you the the color the qualifier i can show you the curves with u versus sad versus u versus loom whatever thank you very much guys uh, sorry for my english but i'm italian so italiano so if you guys have any more questions just write me bye